<laughs> welcome to the broadcast. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Yeah, and welcome, Friday. Stacey Dean Campbell. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having Host me. Host of Troubadour, Texas. Uh, fantastic artist in your own right, too. Hey, thanks. I appreciate yeah. that. No, you get you got paid to say that. Absolutely. Right? Okay, perfect. Well, right. my check. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it. We'll do that afterward. Off really, there. though, tell us about you. Oh gosh, um, about me. Well, uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I uh, have been in a recording artist, and I was in Nashville for several years, and made records for Sony and Warner Brothers, and and. Um, kind of got drugged through the ringer like a lot of people do and mm -hmm. left all of that and went to New Mexico and was a police officer for a little minute and really, but tried that. Really, wasn't music still of, tugging at you? I was a singing police officer. Oh, wow. yeah. Did you I ever do that? Yeah. Really? Did you, you ever get... Really? Did you ever get... Wes, you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Oh my gosh, that would be great. If someone so found you your rice when they arrested you, I'd be like, wait, if I'm not drinking too much, are you really singing me? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That was my other life. But anyway, I came and started and kind of had the uh, kind of this rough concept for a music show, and there it kind of went. And Love Troubadour, it. Texas. And it, and it just, it's exploded, really. Yeah, it's doing really good. And people tell us about the show. What, what do people expect to see if they're, they're tuning in? Well, you know, I, living that kind of life, it's a weird Please, way that yeah. people make a living and the way they do stuff. And so I, it, the show is really just about that process and how people write songs and record songs and get them recorded and make records. And so it's really, it's really just a real inside look at the way the artist process goes and how they're working across Texas and trying to kind of because make it Because it is truly one of the hardest jobs of anybody I've ever interviewed. I've had several of these Texas singer-songwriters singer through my kitchen. And every time one of them would leave, I would just be like in awe and inspired at the same time because their job is so hard. And you are literally living on a wing and a prayer. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's as hard as this. <laughs> oh, it's harder than this. <laughs> Much I'm harder, I'm sure. Yeah, we've had um, several of the artists on the show to perform who've been on Troubadour. And yeah. um, I, I do think that it's a cool concept, mm -hmm. though, to follow well, the yeah. kind of reality show style, you know, to... Well, everybody to, loves music, and, mm -hmm. and people want to know, you know, how do you do it, and how do you... You know, you always hear these questions of how do you sell a song, and it's not quite that simple. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to be hard, able to hard, hard job. To, to give people a little insight. And for anyone this. who hasn't seen Troubadour, Texas, I think we actually have a clip that we're going to show. Take a look at this. Just ahead on Troubadour, Texas. Take the endless hours of practice, all those attempts at just the right hook for just the right song, the writing, the rewriting, the pitching of demo after demo, and soak it all in a real good dose of luck, and who knows, you might just end up with a hit song in your hands. To me, I always go back to that and just, you know, think about whether you call it providence, you call it God work, whatever you call it, somehow that was one of those moments in my life where the light just shined down on me and it made all the difference in the world. And a career that might impact musical genres and generations. I grew up in such a country music household that, that looking back, like every day I'm like, oh my gosh, Tim had something to do with that. It's incredibly humbling and at the same time enabling. So Stacy, have you seen, you know, throughout all these artists that you've that you've um, you know been following around, is there like a certain it factor that takes an artist from obscurity to to stardom? Gosh, that's a that's a great question. You know, it's funny because I was looking at that clip and Tim Dubois, who is is very involved in the show and stuff, he'll He'll probably get me for saying this later, but he probably doesn't remember, but he actually passed on me in Nashville for a record deal. I somehow got into Tim's Isn't office and I was like, hey Tim, can I have a record deal? And he said, no, you can't wow. have a record deal. Things <laughs> so, come full circle sometimes, So now to be back they? working with him, you know, so so I don't know what the it factor is, I guess. I, it, you know, it's, it's very, um, it's just kind of the stars align, you know, and the fairy dust kind of sprinkles yeah. on people. It, There's I'll time. ask you something that people always ask me. Has there been one artist in particular or one story that really struck a chord and has um, stuck with you? Well, um, not to just say this because he's here, but Zane, uh, mm -hmm. his song Pablo and Maria, when I heard him sing that, mm -hmm. that had a something about it that you mm -hmm. just went, wow, he, you know, it's funny because 
as a songwriter myself that you hear certain songs that you go, I hate that guy for writing that. Oh, <laughs> I wish, so I, wish I could have written that, you know, and that was kind of one of those that, that popped out. So you don't, you can't quite describe what it is. It's just, it kind of makes you. What do you think about you... the show Nashville? Do you think it gives a good depiction of what happens? With a little extra added on to it in oh, a soap opera type setting. Y'all are going to get me in trouble. You're going to make me say really bad things. Um, no, that's what we do here. That's Nashville yeah, and yeah. you're Texas, so you and can that's say right, it. That's right. That's um, right. No, Nashville <laughs> is, uh, I, I've watched it a couple of times. My wife loves it. She loves Nashville. <laughs> and um, Buddy Miller, who is the uh, music executive on that, he's incredible. Buddy's a great writer and a great artist. And so to have him on there really lends a real... Credibility. Yeah, credibility to the music and stuff. And it was funny because just, I guess it was just last night or the last time it was on, they had this round table thing where they were, all the performers are really singing. So they're oh, they're pretty it. good. You know, they're actually good Yeah, artists, I, I saw so. that the other night, actually. So I think it's, it's uh, you know, it's got some, some real legs mojo to it. in there, you know. Now, so. are, are all the artists on Troubadour signed with a record label or some of them are truly independent artists? <laughs> you know, that that's, I don't know all of their situations mm -hmm. you know some of them are and some of them are independent some of them have you know in, uh, label deals and stuff but we cool. had a, a pair of musicians the other day on the show called the Wicks it's a married couple they're yeah. fantastic and they're independent and I want you to look them up and yes. I want you to okay. hook them up and you want me to put <laughs> them on the show oh, yes I want you to put yes. them on the okay. show right. and I would Done. like for them to get hooked up because they yeah, are no problem. fantastic great okay yeah. all right <laughs> we can make that happen around Done. here right yeah of course um, and have you ever had a dream um, Stacy, that keeps coming back, and that I was thinking can't about really that. Yeah, out. I think I got something. Really? Yeah, okay, I think good. I got some I, kind of weird. I'm asking that weird. for a very good reason because Damian Nordman uh, from the School of Metaphysics is here again, and he's going to be interpreting our dreams, interpreting your dreams. So get on our Facebook page and let us know if you've had kind of a weird dream that you'd like Damian to take a look at. Stick around.